guys, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. I cannot believe it's Vlogmas Day 17 already. What the shit? Where is, where is the time going? Oh my God. Um, we are about to pack up the car and head home. It is truly so beautiful out right now. Like it is the perfect temperature. California in the winter, again, as long as I do live here, still does not compute. And wow, just wow. Um, so headed home and it is Sunday. So I'm hoping the traffic will be good. Hoping we can get home without a peace stop. If we do have to stop, it will be my fault 100%. Um, and then as soon as we get home, I'm gonna start getting ready because I'm going to see the Mean Girls the musical, the movie premiere tonight. My good friend Kyle Hanagami choreographed all of the dance scenes and I think did a little bit of directing too. And I am so excited to see the movie. Holy shit. So that is this evening. I think I'm just gonna rewear a pink dress that I already have in my closet. The one that I ordered from Revolve, I didn't end up loving. So my dress plans are not fully baked for tonight, but that will be a problem for when we get back to LA. Goodbye, adorable Big Bear house. Oh my God, truly, this place is so cute. Like, it's just so great. It is so great. There is a high chance that we come back to this exact one again next year. Also, I hope they enjoy my addition to the interior design because I did in fact bring one of the indoor giant pine cones in to add it next to this, um, this tray. <laughs> so I hope they enjoy that. Um, creative decision that I've gone with inside their home. <laughs> okay, goodbye house, goodbye. Oh my God, just got home. So happy to see my little meatballs. You guys will not believe my little meatballs. <laughs> I'm so excited to see my little meatballs. You will not believe the production. Jeremy just said that half the stuff is already taken down as well too, but this is why the advent calendar looks so good. And this is also why you will not be getting the same quality from me because look what goes into this. I can't believe you can press me today. This is insane. Oh my God, these are literally the podcast lights. Look at this mic. We had audio, we've got the spotlight, we've got monitors. We've got stars. We've got stars. We've got stars, we've got goobies. We've got eye goobies. Wow, that is so nice. That is so nice. Literally above and beyond. Look at this, this is crazy. Like, let me zoom out. I Here's like the audio. This is the roadcaster that we literally they, recorded they the podcast this. on. I know, I'm seeing this for the first time. Yeah, like, don't, don't you watch the vlog? Look at, I literally haven't had time yet to watch, watch the, vlog? the last advent uh, calendar. so like you. This is what I walked into and I was like, holy shit. This, this is mostly done. Mostly we're, done? We're basically packed up. Ba basically packed up? Yeah. My God. Well, we shot a couple pornos in here too. Perfect. Yeah. That is perfect. Well, because while everything's been set up, I figured we- Yeah, yeah, no, no, take advantage of like the, the yeah. I mean, at least the audio, be... you know, is just, it's ready, it's, yeah, I understand. Okay. Round of applause. Perfect. Bobby. Did you just drool on Digo? Did you drool on Digo? Mm. That's so nice. That's so nice. Oh, I'm so happy to be home. I missed my meatballs. <laughs> Hello, it is officially time to get ready for Mean Girls. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Oh my God, also I am such a Renee rap fan. Oh my God, and also I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ride or die Kyle Hanagami um, fan as well too. And so also here to support, um, but I am so excited. Uh, this doesn't come out for a little bit. And I'm like kind of confused by this because I think the actual premiere premiere of this movie is happening in New York, but not until January. And so this is some kind of like early screening LA premiere situation. Don't really know, just happy to be involved. I'm like not getting my makeup done professionally or anything, wearing a dress that I've worn before. I think I'm gonna wear the uh, pink tweed dress from For Love and Lemons that I wore to the Not Cover Magazine shoot from the spring. I feel as if pink is the move, right? Like that that just feels right. So I've definitely got some pink options if we don't like that one, um, but I think hair is still, I curled this two days ago and like this side is really holding on to the curls quite well. So I don't know, we'll see. I um also saw a few cute TikToks for like an easy updo. So might entertain that idea as well too. I don't know, but let's do makeup and then um, 
yeah, makeup first and then we'll figure out hair. Um, I definitely go a little bit darker on my foundation than what looks natural. Just a heads up when we start going into the time lapse of this. Um, because the flashes on cameras are so harsh that it lightens you up a bit no matter what it seems like. And so I've tried to um, take notes from when Eros does my makeup professionally. And he always goes a little bit darker than what I would assume is natural for me. So just a heads up. It is intentional um, because of how like harsh these flashes are. But just a heads up. I am aware, because I am to look a little crazy, and I just want everyone to know that I also know that. Okay, just kidding. I really wanted to try the new cute little updo, um, but I don't have time to fuck up, essentially. I don't have time for things to go wrong. So I'm just gonna do regular curls, maybe do like a little ear tuck on one side, but also, again, getting so much better at the lashes. Um, I have uh, concluded though that I just don't have enough lashes for them to be like long-term lash extensions. I know some people leave them on for like multiple days, but I, I just don't have enough lashes where like the bond is really, really super strong. Um, like I would never put myself on a Disneyland roller coaster or anything with these on because I would not come off looking the same <laughs> but they do look really good i just feel like the strips like i like the lashes that have the clear strip lash i think those ones are definitely the most natural but unless i want to like really commit to wearing a heavy black liner i just hate when you can see how heavy the strip is and so these ones i think are like a nice um middle ground of it obviously like having a strip because something's got to hold it together but Oh god, okay. My Postmates just arrived, so I've got time. It's kind of like a weird time for a movie. It, the, the beginning evening thingy starts at 5 p.m. So then the movie is at 6, I think, and then I guess I just eat dinner afterwards. My whole life revolves around when I'm eating my next meal, to be fully honest. I'm starving. <laughs> okay, yes, it's like, do I even curl these again? I feel like they're good. Okay, I'm gonna whiz through this. And this is like day four hair. So the dry shampoo is working up top right now. It's working full time right now. What a, what a makeover, truly. Also the way that um, we have it so our automatic air filters turn on anytime there's like anything bad in the air that needs to be filtered out. And it's just me with the hairspray like, <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, okay, I'm running, I'm running behind. I'm running, we're cutting it close. We are cutting it close. Wow, honestly, day four hair, 10 out of 10. Slay, slay, slay. <laughs> Shinies. 
having a good time, so I don't care if you judge me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh my god! Hello? What are you doing? Oh my god, so excited! Wow! 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 What a good yawn! Um, hello, I just got home. I tried to get some footage just on my phone while we were at the viewing. Got a new sweater, um, which I was so sad. I thought that I was being super smart and had to go and put it in the car while we were at the event so that I didn't have to carry it, but then the theater was kind of cold and I wish they had been able to like undo the back of my dress and put the sweater on top. That would have been the smart move. Um, but the movie was so good. Oh my God, I can't wait until you can see it. Holy shit. I'm not a musical kind of gal. Like I, I know, like I'm usually not like one to love an adaptation that's turned into a musical. That would typically not be up my alley, but this was fucking incredible. It was the perfect amount of nostalgia and like, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, obviously, but like Renee Rapp was a star. Renee Rapp as Regina George is a freaking star. Her songs, incredible. The choreography, obviously by Kyle, incredible. I had goosebumps multiple times. It was so good. It was so good. Renee I, Rapp. Renee Rapp? Yeah. You uncultured swine. Right. She's actually an ex-Broadway kid. She's a, she's a pop star. Oh, I'm uncultured. You are uncultured. Regina George is such an iconic character that living up to the original Regina George, I feel like would be an insane feat and Renee Rapp absolutely knocked it out of the fucking park. I'm, so, oh my God, it was, I can't wait to be able to watch it again and for the soundtrack to go on Spotify because my God, there are bops. Oh, I literally like was tearing up in some parts because I was so happy for Kyle. He did such a good job. And to go, you also are adorable. You guys, can, can you see this right now? Look at him. Look at him. Hi, Diggo. I miss my pups so much. I miss my pups so much. Moose is still here, if you're wondering. Just, <laughs> just observing. <laughs> Just observing and being moose. Um, also, we all need to, like, the advent calendar from yesterday, Jesus Christ, I was like not prepared to tear up while watching it. Oh my God. And, um, like, Jeremy sent the footage separately to my editor, so I had no idea what he had filmed until my editor sent me, uh, like, the final cut of the video. Oh my God. I. I'm so sorry for the advent calendars to come that will just be of nowhere as high of a caliber as what Jeremy has been producing for you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I could be of use to you to stretch. And so apologies in advance because I just cannot live up to, I, I can't, I just, I can't live up. I can't live up to the quality that Jeremy has been providing you. I mean, you saw our living room as well too. Like our living room cannot continue in that state as well either. Hello, sir, 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 may I help you? May I help you? Um, so apologies in advance for uh, back to regular quality and expectations of the advent calendar. Apologies in advance. But I think, I think Moose will be just as pleased. As long as he gets the Trito that's inside, I feel as if he'll be okay with it. But apologies to you as the viewer that I cannot deliver the advent calendar caliber that Jeremy has been providing the last two days. Um, <laughs> Moose does not look real right now. Hello? Is anybody home? 
Is anybody home? There's a lot going on in my house right now. Jeremy's putting podcast equipment away. Diggy's taking a large slurp of water. Moose and I are sharing the chair, which is quite adorable. Um, but I also got this cup I wanted to show you. It's got Mean Girls on the front and then all... Of... Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, that's gonna be, oh God. Oh, I'm gonna need to blur, I'm gonna need to blur over that. Um, um, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> Ma'am, control your pig. That's a wild animal. Why are you flailing? Why are you, why are you flailing? Okay, buddy. I'm just trying to show everyone my Mean Girls cup. Let's keep this done. Okay, here we go. We're trying again. Look at all these Mean Girls themed stickers. They are so cute. They were just... What is wrong with you, sir? No, no, you may not have Sour Patch Kids gum on the desk. Hello, my name is Moose, and I am an addict to getting on surfaces that I'm not supposed to be on. And now, I'm in air jail. Okay, anyways, that's my cup, my new hoodie. Also, there is just nothing better than getting a brand new soft hoodie that has like the new softness on the inside that's never been washed. Oh, my favorite. Catch me wearing this hoodie again tomorrow, 100% with no shame. Oh my God, also there is an incredibly exciting update. I got my fridge fixed in time for Christmas. I truly, cannot believe it. I fully thought that we would be living out of the garage drink fridge for the entire holiday well into January. Oh my God. Excuse me, sir. May I help you? May I help you? We actually know exactly how I could possibly help him. We know exactly how to help. Um, but anyways, so excited. And we took the opportunity as well to do a deep clean of the fridge. So not only is it sparkling and holding a nice 34 degrees chilliness, but it is also, 30, sorry, 36 degrees chilliness. It is also so working, so functional, and I could not be more excited. Oh my God. Oh. So tomorrow I'm gonna transfer everything over from the drink fridge, but right now, literally all we have is our meal prep. This looks like a little psychotic. There's meal prep and there's Jeremy's pizza from this weekend. I brought this jam back from Big Bear and this is Diggy's food. Diggy's just food for dogs gets refrigerated. And this was our tester can um, to make sure that the, the can was actually getting cold. And then there's some milk up here. So our fridge looks a little psychotic right now because there's not a single condiment and literally zero produce. So we look a little crazy right now, but tomorrow we will fix this. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, you guys, I'm so sorry that it doesn't look like what it did yesterday and the day before, okay? I know, I'm sorry, I apologize. <sighs> okay, okay, this is the best that I can give you. I'm so tired, <laughs> this is the best I can do. Um, also, my Getty photos turned out decent. I'm so happy. So I'll pop them on screen. They literally, like you get one shot, literally one shot. I think he took two photos total and they're both up there. And so that, that's it. Like you gotta go in, know your pose and that's what you get. That is not my dream. I wish I had a few more options would be nice. Um, but anyways, it ended up being not so bad. So I was not mad at that. Okay, Diggo. Where did you go, my friend? Okay, today is, oh my God, what happened to this calendar? Why is, what ha, why is day seven in here still? What day is it today? 17? Why is there a candy cane on day seven in here still? Oh, there's a, seven, there's a candy cane on day 17 too. Is that right, day 17? I think so. Okay, let me chop this up. Please hold everyone, please hold. Ugh. Oh God, oh, oh, we're a mess. Okay, oh God. Okay, boys, sit. Oh no, Diggo's got, Diggo's got Slippy Pete's. Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, I missed your little dinosaur noises. Wow. Okay, coming in close for the dinosaurs. Coming in close. Three, two, good boy. Ow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll say, say, say thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 18. Goodbye.